Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing another Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. This one is a community car sent in by Sarmation. Uh, good guy, good player, uh, big tournament player, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tense. And uh, also, he's against Lightning Strikes, who's been on the channel before. Um, again, plays in tournaments a lot, so um, it's gonna be a really good one. So it's Empire against Lizardman, and uh, if you don't know, Lizardmen tend to have an advantage here. Um, state troops just often will not hold long enough. Uh, you really need them to hold, and they will just get torn apart by a lot of lizards. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be scary, right? It's gonna be scary. You don't want to be a state troop. You really don't. It's a terrible job. So uh, here you can see a load of uh, spearmen in the front line. You can see they have been chevrons. So their melee defense is actually up to 50, which is pretty great. I mean, that's comparable to um, high elf spearmen. You know, that's pretty great. So um, a lot of spearmen in the front line. And uh, also, he's got some outriders. The armor piercing here is vital, and the maneuverability as well. Being able to outrun the big dinosaurs and be able to get a load of armor piercing in, it's pretty massive. You kind of need him in this matchup. Also, uh, oh, more outriders. Okay, three lots there. And uh, he does have two empire knights in the back as well. So these guys will be good for chasing down things like, uh, you know, chameleon skinks and other skirmishers. Because frankly, they've got enough armor to shrug off most of those blows. So it's pretty good. Um, so they're very useful for chasing down fleeing units, and they've got enough mass to be able to, you know, really just bash through skinks. So it's pretty cool. Hammer of the Witches, I think, is a great pick as well. Very accurate. So it's going to keep hitting those big dinosaurs, you know. It's going to keep hitting those expensive units uh, for a lot of damage. I mean, if we look, uh, yeah, 377 missile damage. That's going to shoot three times. So a volley's going to do over a 1,000 damage. It's pretty great. So uh, got to love that. Also, Witch Hunter. So Accusation, again, great tool against, uh, you know, big monsters. And again, a lot of armor-piercing damage on his missiles. A hell of a lot. I mean, 417, that's not to be sniffed at. So, uh, yeah, a lot of very strong missile damage here. But you see, no hand gunners, no hand gunners. Uh, but he does some great swords in the back as well. These guys will fare okay against Saurus Warriors. So, uh, not too, too bad. And also, he has some halberdiers for some extra anti large and some more armor piercing. So, uh, pretty cool. And of course, there's Balthazar Kelt. Gotta love him. So, straight away, popping an arcane conduit to get his reserves up. Um, if we look at his spells, you know, he's got a uh, final transmutation, of course. Just does so much damage if, you know, a load of big uh, Lizardman heroes clump up. You can get so much value out of that. So, really good. Piercing bolts as well. Great for just whittling down infantry. And uh, pretty cheap as well, which is nice. And uh, he's also got Plague of Rust as well for those debuffs. So uh, a lot of uh, lot of utility out of Geld, and also he's kind of hard to catch when he's up there. So pretty cool. So for the Lizardman army, straight away you can see he's got these uh, uh, skink skirmishers and chameleon skinks. So that's going to be very scary. Um, you know these guys can just put in a lot of pressure. You know on the flanks, um, your outriders are going to get pretty hurt by him. So you've got to screen these guys a lot, or you're going to lose a lot of your armor piercing units. Also, cold on spear riders. These guys obviously anti large armor piercing. They're going to be a good counter for the Empire Knights that are pretty vital in this matchup. Also a load of crocs goals for the armor piercing. These are the, going to be the ones that are going to kill the great swords. That's what they're for. And uh, they will do it well. Also, load of skinks with javelins at the front. So the javelins, again, can apply pressure. Really good for screening out, you know, skirmishers. You know, the pistoliers and the outriders. Very useful. And uh, more cold one spear riders. He has a skink priest of heavens, just on the ground. But, you know, he's pretty safe. And, uh, yeah, wind blast is going to be very useful. And, uh, also, Curse of Midnight Wind and Cold Blooded. So, I mean, all the heroes have got Cold Blooded, and that's just so good. Um, it's pretty horrible, to be honest. Uh, the amount of healing you can get for, you know, a hero like Krokgar. Just get him out of combat, you get him back to full health if he's taking a lot of damage. It's madness. So, Krokgar, obviously, um, fantastic, but he's actually been stripped down a lot. So, if we have a, a quick look at him, and uh, doesn't he look beautiful with his little, uh, yeah, little cold one? Anyway, so uh, here he goes. Uh, Sacred Spawning of Itzel, uh, of, of Shotel, I think it's pronounced. Shotel? I think it's Shotel. Yeah. I've been, uh, you know, I've been practicing my uh, Lizardman. Anyway, so the physical resistance can really help, and the Vigor is going to help keep his armor up, weirdly. Vigor affects armor. I know, it's bizarre, isn't it? Um, also, cold-blooded, and he does cause fear, which is something. But um, he hits like a truck with a lot of anti-large, and he's a smaller target um, on uh, on a cold one. So, you know, artillery isn't going to kill him as quickly, so that's pretty great. So, uh, also, um, some Saurus warriors in the back, but I've sped things up because, uh, you know, things are getting a bit close here. So, uh, as you can see, um, the Outriders are going to get pressured um, from the Chameleon Skinks. Uh, Chameleon Skinks taking a lot of damage and not actually giving too, too much in return just yet. So, not bad, not bad, but that is a lot of AP. Um, that he's losing, you know, with the ammunition. But, you know, the fact he's killing these guys so quickly, I actually had no idea this would be the case. I never knew you could just outgun 
uh, chameleon skinks because they got a lot of missile resist and they're just very hard to kill generally. So um, this is pretty impressive. I was not surprised. You know, I was not expecting this. But unfortunately, cold one riders are coming in here though. Um, yeah, Krogar has been pretty uh, pretty dumpstered here. So the final transmutation can do a load of damage. It's an upgraded one and an accusation on top of him. He's taken a lot of damage, but he is able to escape. And there's just so many charges of cold blooded. It just oh, it's horrible. I hate cold blooded. I mean, I kind of love it, really. I just hate it when the opponent has it. So, uh, you know, having to scatter here. So, a lot of pressure. Now the Outriders are running away because they can't shoot 360. So, as they're running away, you can shoot into the back of them. And that's really rough. So, uh, a load of infantry starting to engage. And, amazingly, these Croxagors are actually rampaging. Uh, the Spearmen are holding them in place. And I'm pretty sure the Witch Hunter is... Nope, he's firing at Krogar. Uh, what is firing? It can't just be the Spearmen, surely. I mean, it looks like these guys are fighting at shooting at Krogar as well. Actually... I know what we're about to see. We're about to see him shoot the skink chief. Look at that. And one more shot. Half his health gone. Isn't that beautiful? So, uh, Hammer of the Witches. Pretty good if you see the skink chief sat idle. Yep, shoot at him. And it uh, looks like the witch hunter's choosing to shoot him too. Because Balthazar Gelt, he's not very good at just getting shot by skink chiefs like this. It's pretty rough. So, uh, you can see the Empire Knights have actually run over here trying to finish this stuff off. I'm not entirely sure what these Cold One Spear Riders are doing, just standing there. So that's interesting, but they're being shot to pieces by the Outriders. Unfortunately, these other Outriders, they're having to run away from the Chameleon Skinks. They're going to get taken out, so that's really sad. Um, but here, Spearmen finally break, because of course they're just Spearmen. They're not going to hold up against Crotskulls too long. But these Crotskulls are taking a load of damage. Unfortunately, the Hammer of the Witches has been caught out now, and that thing is so vital. The Hammer of the Witches is fantastic. Here, beautiful Wind Blast does a ton of damage to all these Spearmen. So it means these uh, Great Swords are going to be massively outnumbered. And... Here we get a harmonic convergence, so these guys are going to, you know, be able to hit even better now against the greatsword. So they're really going to get some work done. But they don't have a lot of armor piercing, you know, they're not an armor piercing unit. High weapon strength, but not a lot of AP. And uh, greatsword do actually have 95 armor, which is pretty good. So, um, you know, they can resist a lot of the damage from Saurus Warriors, so it's pretty cool. And they're armor piercing, you know, anti-infantry themselves, so they can trade pretty effectively. Um, here, you know, we've got some halberdiers been thrown in to try and bog this stuff down, which has given the uh, last of the Hammer of the Witches a bit of respite. They're not being chased anymore, which is something. A load of infantry and things are coming back. Over here, amazingly, the Witch Hunter is here fighting a, uh, a bunch of Croxagors. Uh, I'm amazed he's able to sit here and fight them. Um, it looks like he's actually killing some, which is pretty impressive. Um, so that's pretty cool. So he is running for his life now, and uh, now the Spears are going to try and get in here and stop him. Because frankly, the Witch Hunter is going to do a lot better if he can just shoot them. So, um, pretty great plays so far. So, uh, Lizardman, you know, still causing a load of pressure here. Um, it's pretty dangerous. Pretty damn dangerous indeed. So, uh, is that, uh, yeah, there's Krokgar here. So, Krokgar now just fighting Halberds. That's not good for him. You know, the Skinks are running away, and you really don't want him fighting armor-piercing, you know, sort of anti-large units like that. Um, because, you know, he's large on that cold one, so that's not good. But, this infantry is starting to look a bit iffy. Um, you know, the Great Swords here nearly dead. Halberd is nearly dead. Um, I mean, they've rampaged, which is good, but these guys are looking a bit haggard. So, this isn't looking great. And, uh, but, you know, there are some Empire Knights here. It's still got a lot of healthy Outriders, still got two of those units. One looks like it's getting a bit caught out in the back, though, which, again, is very rough. But, um, here, the Witch Hunter. Accusation on Krokgar. That's really going to help. As you can see, he's, he's hitting his healing cap. I mean, he can still heal to basically full health, but, you know, he's taking damage pretty quickly now, and he's not going to be able to get that back. So that's something, you know, worth noting there. That's pretty damn useful. I mean, look at the health he's got. It's not much at all. So that's pretty great. So now, because uh, the Skink Chief is basically just shooting at Balthazar, you can't have that. He's gonna, he's just gonna get killed. So um, yeah, yeah, he's gonna get, uh, he's gonna get shot to pieces. So the Witch Hunter is shooting at him for massive damage, and the Outriders are getting a load of uh, damage in, just chipping away at him. Here, the Empire Knights are about to charge into Grotgar, but then he sees that he has to stop these Chameleon Skinks. Of course, they were stalked, so he only just spotted them. So he rightly just turns back and around. So it frees up these Outriders. They don't have to worry about getting shot by Chameleon Skinks anymore, and uh, they can keep shooting at the Skink Chief without having to run away or anything. So another big hit from the Witch Hunter, and he's, this guy's broken. Skink Chief is out, which is huge, huge gains. So that's fantastic. So uh, now, though, Skink Cohorts are coming in, and in tandem with this rear charge on these units, you're going to see something beautiful. So uh, rear charge about to hit, and boom. Massive Wind Blast. Krokgar would have died in there, but this entire you know, group, this huge pocket of Empire Resistance has just been wiped out in a single spell. That is brutal. Absolutely brutal. So, fantastic move. 
uh, by lightning strikes there. Absolutely superb. Uh, so these outriders, they're under a lot of pressure. Skinks are pretty quick, and these guys have to turn around to shoot at them, which is definitely rough. So these outriders can be under a lot of pressure. Uh, these great swords are back, but they are so, so haggard. Uh, they're wavering, you know, but he has to get in here and deal with these guys. Um, there's still a lot of skinks left. And that is going to apply a lot of pressure. Here, though, Krokka, one more accusation and uh, some outrider fire, and he's about to die. And there he goes. Poor Krokka. Oh, my boy. Crocky G. So, anyway, he's dead. So, that is great. As you can see, the balance of power is now even again, which is unbelievable. This has been such a nutritious battle, but it's been, you know, it's been uh, toing and froing between people. They're each doing great plays here just to tip the balance. Um, it is really impressive. It is really impressive. Um, both of them are playing really tight games here. So, pretty awesome. So here you can see the uh, spearmen here coming in to try and stop these skin cohorts. Uh, the outriders are coming in to try and get some shots on the Saurus warriors. They're the armoured, you know, armoured contingent here. So get that armour piercing in. Luckily the spearmen have managed to stop these skin cohorts, which is brilliant, because the Hammer of the Witches are about to get back online. So they're getting back on their cannons. There's not a lot of them left. Oh my god, there's bodies everywhere. Um, anyway, they're getting back on it, so that's fantastic. And amazingly, because these guys have rampaged, um, they're going for the Outriders, which they're never going to be able to catch. They're not going for the Hammer of the Witches. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's not going to help too much. Um, here you can see the skin cohorts coming in, so immediately Sarmation abandons the cannons and runs for it, which is basically all he can do. And he's running some interference with the Outriders to give these guys space, so he can charge into these guys who are wavering. Hopefully, he can break them on the charge, but, ooh, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? There we go, they're broken, which is huge. Um, but Saurus Warriors, stop rampaging, which is lucky because the Hammer of the Witches stopped moving. Run! Run, Hammer of the Witches! Run! Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh, the humanity. So uh, over here, um, yeah, the uh, Witch Hunter got sort of caught out by these Saurus Warriors. Um, he couldn't fight him off, which is really sad. That weapon damage is too high. I mean, if we look at him, when he's got Slippery, he's got, like, crazy high melee defense. It's something like 60. Um, but, otherwise, it's not too, too high, so, you know, he's going to get hurt by Saurus Warriors a lot. So it's really just Balthazar and these Halberdiers left, and some Outriders, um, that have basically run out of ammo, so it's looking a bit iffy. Uh, these Chameleon Skinks, they're not really pushovers in combat, they will do okay. And, uh, oh my god, is that another Harmonic Convergence going down? That is going to tip it in their, in their uh, favour in a big way. Halberdiers, though, they do have armor piercing, so that will help against the armor of the Saurus Warriors. You know, 60 armor. So it's nice to just ignore that, for the most part. Sounds pretty good. Uh, here, piercing bolts. Pretty damn well timed, actually. Pretty damn well timed. Um, so the great swords are going to get in here, and the Hammer of the Witches are back online. But they're really struggling to stay uh, stay focused on this. There's only three of them left. I think they're going to be man one cannon. So that's not great. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Avoji Chameleon's Ginks. Uh, oh, have run out of ammo. That's great. I was about to say they still have ammo left, but no, they're out. That's great. So Balthazar coming in here, try and help out his great swords. This is his only hope. If he can keep these great swords in the fight and get these Saurus Warriors to rout. But unfortunately, it's just too little too late here. So uh, that is incredibly rough. So it's basically just Balthazar left. The cannon's here. I mean, he can't outrun all this. So um, he's going to try, though. But they shatter. It's a shame. It's a real shame. That Hammer of the Witches, they did great. There they are. Let's see, how many kills have they got? Ten. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? But they did great. <laughs> they did a lot of damage to very expensive vital units. So, uh, you know, I'm going to give them bonus kills for that. So, uh, Balthazar Gelt, basically all that's left. Um, there's some Outriders. It's Thirteen Outriders. Um, and yeah, you can see the balance of power is starting to tip against him. But amazingly, I'm surprised it's not further. Um, oh, it is getting further. Outriders just, yeah, they just shattered. Oh god, things aren't looking great. So uh, here, Skink Chief, probably the last thing, really, um, that needs killing. Because, uh, I mean, that's the big, big leadership thing, right? Um, you know, it's the last hero in this unit. So if Balthazar can get hold of him, that'd be pretty great. Uh, so here, Plague of Rust to lower these guys' armor. So hopefully he can kill him quicker. But, you know, not a lot of splash damage on Balthazar Gelt. Um, he's not going to do a huge amount of work, but... You know, it's all he had. It's all he had left. So, it's worth a try. So, you can barely see Balthazar in, in the trees here. But he's just going to get surrounded. Skink Priest coming in here to help. It's not looking good. Sorry, Balthazar. It's, uh... Yeah. There he goes. So, gold standard of wizard right there. Um, Valiant defeat. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. Actually, it wasn't rough. It was incredible. Um, Empire, you know, holding on for that long is really impressive. Um, you know, it is a tough matchup against the Lizardmen. The Lizardmen have just got so much armor. Um, they're really hard to take down. Um, you really need to be on point. 
and Salmation was. Um, but well played to both of you guys. That was amazing. Um, just fantastic, just clutch moves with the spells there from both of you. Really impressive. So I absolutely loved it. But I mean, you know, the Witch Hunter, only 16 kills, but he was hitting such expensive targets. He was the one chipping away at the Croxagores, you know, the Skink Priest, um, Co uh, not Colette, Kropgar. Um, you know, he's getting so much damage into vital targets. Same with the Hammer of the Witches. It was absolutely superb. Um, the Outriders were just having to work so hard there. And actually, seeing that the three of them just bully a unit of Chameleon Skinks is pretty impressive. I did not realize you could just outgun him like that. You know, if it's just the one unit, you can just shoot the crap out of it. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to shut it down pretty quickly. Um, I did not know that, so that's pretty great to know. Um, also, you know, Balthazar Gelt, I think he's great in this matchup. Um, you know, he can keep out of the way for the most part, as long as you've got answers to the Skink Chief. Because um, that's a pretty common pick, just have Skink Chiefs, you know, hunting down spellcasters. It's pretty mean, to be honest, but it's pretty common. So, um, you know, as long as you have answers to that, Balthazar Gelt can get a lot of value on very expensive units. So, pretty cool. Unfortunately, not much of a duelist as we found out at the end there. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. I love seeing this. Um, 139 kills for these great swords. They can do all right. They can definitely do all right. So uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.